to escape from the country, of course, not an option. Uh, hands up, never. It's our country. Do you, do you want us to, uh, to ask uh, the NATO or uh, Italians or uh, the British to come here and to, uh, to fight for us? Come on. We are here surrounded by Libyan people. And we are fighting with our people. And we are so united as a nation. And we are very proud of that. If you are not with us, you are against us. Those people in the West, they are against the Libyan people. They are not with us. So they are against us. And now, those people, they, they, don't, they have no moral values. They have just interest. That's it. They should have supported the Libyan people. Not a bunch of gangsters. And the funny thing that they represent or they're fighting for democracy and human rights. This is the biggest joke I have ever heard in my life. If you are not with them, they kill you. Now everybody will say yes. Everybody is saying yes, because they kill you. So when you impose no-fly zones, it means you are supporting terrorists. So it was really illogical and outrageous to just to speak about a no-fly zone, because it simply means that you are supporting the terrorists. Sarkozy, one month ago, he, he, he didn't invite me. He said, it's an official letter to go there. He wants me to convince me to buy the, uh, the, the Rafale, the air fighter, the aircraft. He was like a pussycat. Yeah, it was so nice. In two weeks, he wants to be like a tiger. I'm not a pussycat or Mickey Mouse. We are here to defend. In war separates men from children. And we are men. I'm a man. I'm, I'm standing up and, and defending my country. You'll see. You'll see the biggest victory in Benghazi in two days. And you'll see the t uh, hundreds of thousands of, of Libyans in the streets celebrating. Wait and see the next two days what will happen in the, in, in the, in the eastern uh, part of Libya. You'll see the millions there happy for their liberation from the dark forces. You will see.